This is lesson 18, 218, computing actual lengths from a scale drawing. You have this in your packet. Um, it is also in your textbook. Remember, we're in Chapter 7 in the B book of your textbook series, Chapter 7, Section 5, Scale Drawing. So this first example here, basketball at recess. Well, Vincent proposes an idea to the student government or student council to install a basketball hoop along with a court marked with all the shooting lines and boundary lines at his school for students to use at recess. He presents a plan to install a half court design as shown below. After checking with the school administration, he is told it will be approved if it will fit on the empty lot that measures 25 feet by 75 feet on the school property. Will the lot be big enough for the court that he planned? Explain. So, we have a table here. And you may or may not on your paper have the word scale, length, and width. Please fill that in above the table as you can see on my example here. So the first thing that it's asking us to find is to find the scale factor which is also called the unit rate, which is called the constant or the constant of proportionality. Remember that? Constant of proportionality. They all mean the same thing in different contexts, but they are all looking for what? Constant of proportionality. They're all looking for K. What is the K? So, Scale factor, unit rate, constant of proportionality. I'm trying to find the constant here. The relationship between the scale drawing and the actual drawing. So the scale drawing says, oh, it has a scale on it. Sometimes the scale that we're going to use to fill in this first part of the table is given in the word problem itself. They didn't give us a scale. Or sometimes it's on the map or the drawing itself. Usually maps say every inch is really 50 or 60 miles, something like that. Or one and a half inches is 100 kilometers. So you got to look on the map. Here we have to look on the drawing. One inch on this drawing corresponds to 15 feet of actual length of a court. So we know that a basketball court is not this small. But we can draw it small on a piece of paper and then enlarge it proportionally to make it the real basketball court. So that's what we need to figure out. Is there enough space in the 25 foot by 75 foot lot to build using one inch every equals every 15 feet? Well, that's a problem. Because we're talking about scale factor, unit rate, constant of proportionality, rates have to have the same measurement. They have to have the same unit of measure. So I'm going to write that. Rates have to have, have to have the same unit of measure. Well, the scale, the rate that they're giving us does not. It says one inch is 15 feet. Inches and feet, not the same unit of measure. But we can fix that. So one inch is every 15 feet. Well, I either need to change inches into feet or feet into inches. And it's easier to take the larger thing, feet, and change it into inches. I know that every foot has 12 inches in it. Every foot has 12 inches in it. So if I have 15 feet, if I multiply it by 12, I will get all of the inches that it is, which that comes out to be 180. So my scale factor, my K, every inch on the drawing, on the scaled item, this little court that we see here, is really 180 inches. Now I converted my 15 feet to 180 inches on a real court. So every little tiny inch that you could draw here on this drawing is really 
180 inches on the real court. We know a basketball court is pretty big. So that's the scale that I have to use. That's the scale factor, the constant, the rate. The rate is 1 to 180. And yes, my Y is the 1, the real drawing down here over the real court in the real world, over the actual. So the scale drawing is Y, the actual court is the X. So that's my Y over X. Every one inch on this little picture is 180 inches on the court. It also did give me every one inch is 15 feet. That's not the scale factor, but it is a scale that I could use because this answer is 25 feet by 75 feet. Okay, so the length in this drawing I see here is 2 inches. So going back to my table here, the length is 2 inches. What would that be on the actual court? Well, and I'm going to do this part in feet because I'm trying to find the length and the width in feet. This is the scale factor, which is the rate, which has to be inches and inches. But to solve this, I could do inches compared to feet. So in an equal ratio, got to keep the ratio the same, I see that the length was multiplied by 2. So if I multiply this 15 by 2, I keep that proportional, keeping the same ratio. So 2 inches on this drawing is really 30 feet of the court. 2 inches equals 30 feet. Well, now the width here is 1 and 2 thirds inches. 1 and 2 thirds inches. Hmm. If I start back with my original um, scale that they gave me, 1 inch is 15 feet. Well, 1 times 1 and 2 thirds. 1 times 1 and 2 thirds would give me 1 and 2 thirds. What's 15 times 1 and 2 thirds? So 15 times 1 and 2 thirds. In order for this to stay proportional or in the same ratio, i got to multiply by the same number. Well, the scale y was changed to 1 and 2 thirds, 1 times 1 and 2 thirds. So my x, my width, has to be multiplied by 1 and 2 thirds. Well, 15 times 1 and 2 thirds. Well, we can't do that. We have to change it to fractions. 15 times 1 and 2 thirds is 5 thirds. And yes, I can cross cancel. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 15 5 times. So 5 times 5 is 25. And 1 times 1 on the bottom. I don't need to keep that. So my denominator is just 1. So that is equal to 25 feet. So this one and two thirds width that's drawn here, in the real world, that real court will be 25 feet in width. So the question asks, keeping the same ratio, it's got to be proportional. So I did that. I kept the ratios the same. Will it be approved if it measures 25 feet by 75 feet? 25 feet by 75 feet. Well, I got the 25, and oh, way longer, 75 feet, I only need 30. So yes, it will. Will the lot be big enough for the court that he planned? Yes. The 25 feet by 30 feet lot or court will fit in that lot. This is the court, 25 feet by 30 feet, because the lot's 25 feet by 75 feet. Yes, the 25 feet by 30 foot court will fit in the lot. So there's the sable. I had to do a lot of work to get that answer. So we've got to, in this lesson, we've got to pay attention to, if it's asking me the scale Factor, that's the unit rate. The units have to be the same. So here it was, 1 inch is 180 inches. To do some of the math, I didn't have the same. I didn't use the scale factor. I just used the scale. 
different, one inch to 15 feet. So we got to pay attention to that. Going on to example two. The diagram shown represents a garden. The scale is one centimeter for every 20 meters. That's the scale. They do not have the same unit weight. One is centimeters, the same unit of measure. One is centimeters, one is meters. The scale, that's okay. But if it asks me, what is the scale factor? Then I'm going to have to convert meters to centimeters. Find the actual length and width of the garden based upon given this drawing. Each square in the drawing measures one centimeter by one centimeter. So we need to find out how long this garden is here that we're, that we have here outlined on, and it's drawn on this graph paper scale grid, one centimeter by one centimeter. So these are one centimeter, centimeters squared, the area of those things. Oh, okay, let's find what is the length and the width. Scale is one centimeter for every 20 meters. The scale is, oh, so we can, oh, that was given to us in the word problem. So the scale, the drawing, one centimeter, the actual is really 20 meters, 20 meters. Find the actual length and width of the garden based on this drawing. What's the real length and width? Not just what's the drawing's length and width. Well, the drawing's length and width is easy to figure out, right? I can just count the squares. So the length here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The length is eight centimeters in the drawing. I've got to find the real width. I've got to find how many meters is that, not how many centimeters. The width, one, two, three, four, is four centimeters in the drawing. What is it in the real garden? Find the actual length and width of the garden based on this drawing. So I've got to use that scale that every one centimeter is really 20 meters. So if they had asked me what was the scale factor, I would have to convert this. So I'm going to do that even though it wasn't asked. What's the scale factor? They're asking you, what's the K? I'm adding this on. What is K? What's the scale factor? Because it's a unit rate, they have to be the same unit of measure, centimeters and meters. It's not. So one centimeter has to be compared to centimeters, not 20 meters. So I've got to convert 20 meters into centimeters. I know that 100 centimeters, I'm going to make a little note over here, 100 centimeters equals one meter. So if I take my 20 and multiply it by 100, my 20 meters and multiply it by 100, I'm going to get the true scale factor. One centimeter is 20 times 100 is 2,000 centimeters. That's the scale factor. Didn't ask me that question. I just wanted to show you that because a little practicing with converting. If it asks the scale factor, the rates have to have the same unit of measure, centimeters and centimeters. So now I'm going to use the scale and figure out how big is this garden in the real world. On this picture, it's eight centimeters long. Well, one times eight would give me that eight there. So keep it proportional. I got to keep it in the equal ratio here. So 20 times eight would be 160 meters. It's okay using the scale to figure this out. 160 meters is the actual length of that garden in the real world. So 1 times 4 would give me the 1 times 4 would give me the 4 centimeters. So 20 times 4 would give me, right? 
So times 4 would give me 4 centimeters. 20 times 4, going all the way back to the scale here, 20 times 4 would give me 80 meters. So what is the actual length? The actual length is 160 meters. And the width, the actual width, is 80 meters. I can use the scale that they gave me as long as I'm keeping my ratios proportional. Next example, example number three. A graphic designer is creating an advertisement for a tablet. She needs to enlarge the picture given here so that 25 hundredths inches on the scale picture will correspond to one inch on the actual advertisement. Oh, they're giving me the scale there. 25 hundredths inches on the scale picture will correspond to one inch on the actual. Pay very close attention to the English here. 25 hundredths inches on the scale picture. So that's my Y. 25 hundredths of an inch will correspond to one inch. Ooh, that is the rate. They're both in inches. That's the scale factor. 25 to 1. That is the K. K is 25 to 1. It's 25 hundredths. Um, to the actual advertisement. So we're going to do this one in class because I want to see how accurate you can measure the length and the width. We're going to measure this in class using our rulers and fill in this table. So we're going to come back to number three tomorrow in class. Number or Example one here. Students from high school are going to perform one of the acts from their upcoming musical at the atrium in the mall. The students want to bring some of the set with them so that the audience can get a better feel for the whole production. The backdrop that they want to bring has panels that measure 10 feet by 10 feet. The students are not sure if they will be able to fit these panels through the entire entrance of the mall since the panels need to be transported flat or horizontal. They obtain a copy of the mall floor plan shown below from the city planning office. Use this diagram to decide if the panels will fit through the entrance. Use a ruler to measure. One inch on the drawing represents four and a half feet of the actual length. Well, there's the scale. It's on the drawing for me. So one eighth inch on the drawing represents four and a half feet of actual length. Answer the following questions. Use a ruler to measure. Well, I did measure this. So find the actual distance of the mall entrance. Oh, here it is right here. Mall entrance. And determine whether the set panels will fit. Okay. So if one eighth of an inch is really four and a half feet, one eighth is four and a half feet. What's three eighths? Okay, well, how did I change my one eighth? I multiplied by three. So what's four and a half times three? Four and a half times three would give me thirteen and a half. Uh oh, thirteen and a half feet. Will the panels fit? Yes, they will. Find the actual distance of the mall entrance. I did that work up here. To determine whether the panels will fit. Well, remember, they're only 10 by 10. So 10 feet will fit between 13 and a half feet. The 10 foot panel will fit. Because it's 13 and a half feet. What is the scale factor? Ooh, ooh, okay. So 1 eighth 
is four and a half feet. Well, that's not both inches and inches. What does it tell us? Okay, so one eighth of an inch is four and a half feet. These have to be the same. It's not inches and inches. One eighth of an inch converting four and a half feet. So four and a half, I'm going to change to four and five tenths and multiply it by 12. Why 12? Because there's 12 inches in a foot. That equals 54 inches. So one eighth of an inch is really 54 inches. What is the scale factor and what does it tell us? Each length on the drawing is actually one eighth is one eighth of an inch is fifty four. Oh, I actually have to divide y by x to get the k. So this isn't one here. So I have to actually divide this to get the scale factor. What's one eighth divided by fifty four? Well, you could change it, flip it. The scale factor is 1 over 432. Woo. Each length on the drawing is 1 432nd of the actual length of the picture. What does it tell us? The lengths are 430 times larger than the drawing. That's what it tells us. And that's it for today. We'll come back to that question three.